Look at there. Big cloud of Dominican cigar smoke. What a way to start an occasion. Thank you all so much and cheers for being with us here at Two Hands and a Face Audio. We're very pleased for you to join us this evening and have a look at the Sire T7, maybe in parentheses, we say Telecaster style seven guitar. Uh, Sire guitars, as a lot of you are probably aware, are the brainchild of two legends of the jazz and mainstream music veins, uh, Larry Carlton and Marcus Miller. Marcus Miller is a guy who goes all the way back to the days of Miles Davis. He worked, produced with Miles Davis, also played, worked, and produced with Herbie Hancock, Luther Vandross. The guy is an industry giant. Larry Carlton, likewise, is the genius behind a lot of the guitar tracks on your favorite Steely Dan records, uh, along with Joni Mitchell, along with Mike Post, the great purveyor of television and movie themes from the 70s and 80s. So if you've ever heard music, chances are you've enjoyed both of these guys. Here's to them. And so the two of them put their heads together and said, we want an incredibly well-made quality guitar. We want a minimum build quality, which is exceptional in this case. And we want it to be at the everyman working musician kind of price. Now, I'm not gonna get too specific about the price of this instrument, <clears throat> but I am confident in saying that it comes in way under a thousand bucks. And I hope the camera does it justice. This is a beautiful guitar, it's an older body, Absolutely exquisite paint job. Your classic salami pick guard on this particular one. Uh, a roasted maple neck, the fit and finish of which is absolutely exquisite. It, it is glass smooth and it travels well in the hand. Let me tell you, high quality locking tuners. Uh, I don't even know who does their hardware or their electronics, but everything is absolutely top notch. And I'm not saying with the caveat, top-notch for the price. It's just top-notch, period. The workmanship is exceptional. And you're about to interpret that the sound is equally exceptional. At least I hope that's what you get out of this. So, so we've discussed the build quality, which is beautiful to look at and exceptional to feel. The tactile experience is a very good one. Let's dig into the sound quality. Classic Tele-esque qualities. Uh, there's definitely a cut through quality and tremendous articulation. Very, very responsive on the high end. That said, this guitar does not lack warmth at all. It's got a great undertone of warmth. So you can dig in deeper a little bit. <laughs> So I'm getting a, a kind of a round sound, maybe with a little more underlying oomph than a traditional Fender Telecaster. Definitely all that cut through and all of that articulation. Now let's switch from the bridge position into the neck position pickups. And these pickups, again, were designed under the guidance of Larry Carlton and his impeccable year. Uh, the bass electronics would be have been signed off on by Marcus Miller, another impeccable ear. So let's hear the neck position and the kind of warmth it has to offer. sounding neck position it gets a great deal more warmth and it almost has kind of a jazz ring to it so I'm not a jazz player but it's got kind of a jazz sound very very pleasing sound beautiful neck it runs fast in your hand man it really delivers and the fit and finish the the fret cut the the neck binding everything is flawless you can probably see in the light I hope you can that there's actually a semi-gloss finish on the fingerboard 
which is very pretty to look at, but it does not add any tack to the fingertip engagement of the fingerboard. So it doesn't drag you down. It doesn't lag you. It's smooth as it can be. Really, really nice sound, really fast feel. Let's go ahead and traipse this amp over to distortion territory and see how nasty we can make this thing because it is a single coil pickup. It's a lower output pickup than a humbucker, but that's by design. It delivers a sound that a humbucker cannot give you. So let's add some distortion to the mix and we'll start in the bridge position. Great power chord kind of feel there. Uh, it's, it distorts beautifully, so it gives us a wonderful sound and an array of tones to choose from. If you want to do a blues thing, it's got that kind of lower attack, lower grit, dig in really hard and get into the blues rain if you want to. Beautiful sounding pickup situation here. Let's let's go into the neck position and see what we sound like here. And of course, the lower output pickup also means that you can back way off on your attack and you can get almost a completely clean sound even when you're in the distorted settings. Of course, you can dig in a little harder and pull a lot more distortion out of this situation. So there's a great deal of versatility to be had. With a pickup arrangement like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my boost control. This amp and its distorted channel has a boost control so you can make it just a little bit nastier than it already is. Boost. So you can hear it thicken up there quite a bit. So this guitar will definitely bite when you want it to. Yeah, this is a sweet neck too. I can't comment enough on how fast and how comfortable this neck is. Great testament to the build quality overall. So let's go back to the clean for just a moment and show that off a bit. section bites too that you know when you've got it in the clean setting a little more hard hitting on the strings is going to give you a little bit of grit so the final distillation speaking of which of this assessment of this beautiful instrument 
is that it is an overwhelming value because of the unexpectedly low price. And you can find that out for yourself. Like I said, way under a thousand. But the build quality belies the low price. The hardware is excellent. The roasted maple neck is perfect. The fit and finish, the, the fret edging, the neck binding, it's all absolutely beautiful. Perfectly sculpted alder body and their paint jobs are absolutely amazing. It's almost like a custom motorcycle, man. So you got a beautiful instrument here and it is the brainchild of two of, of the music industry's absolute icons. These guys are geniuses in their own right. So they're not gonna deliver something to you that they're not gonna be proud to play. So I hope that you will go to your nearest music store, that stock sire, and try one. They're amazing guitars. They're not gonna bite you hard in the wallet. And I hope that you will give them a chance. They're absolutely beautiful. I think I'm gonna get one myself. I borrowed this one from my good buddy, Tom. Thanks again, Tom, God love you. So if you liked what you saw and experienced here on this occasion, I hope that you will join us again. We'd love to see you again. We review product almost constantly around here. And we would like for you to come back and we would also love for you to subscribe Hit that subscribe button, if you will. You will not regret it. At least I hope you won't. I don't think you will. We're going to continue to bring you a great variety of gear. We're going to do as comprehensive a review on it as we can possibly pull off in a few minutes. And we would love to see you again. Hit that subscribe button. And thank you again for joining us this evening. Have a wonderful day.